Hey, families of Hickory Grove, Pastor Eric here. I am delighted to be with you here today as I'm going to continue our study in the Pilgrim's Progress. Uh, I hope you have already watched our video on the entire book of the Pilgrim's Progress, which uh, Paul Cox, the creator, and, and his wife, Stephanie, who uh, rewrote or made uh, the Pilgrim's Progress into this delightful children's story. Um, they uh, gave us permission to read this and, and share it on, on YouTube and, and whatnot. So uh, thank you to them. You can go and purchase uh, this story and you can either get the PDF or you can get the, the hard copy, the paperback, which is a beautiful book. Um, you can get that at reftoons.com. I highly, highly encourage it. It is a wonderful story that speaks to the redemption and the life of a pilgrim Christian. And a pilgrim Christian is just one, it, not one with a funny hat, although they were Christians, but uh, people who are followers of Jesus and they have a pilgrimage their entire life in being made into the image of Jesus Christ. That's really cool. So we're going to break this story down into a few parts. Today is part one. And we're really, really going to look at the first part of the story, of Christian's story. Remember, this is an allegory. So each person in the story kind of has a name that points to who they are. And we are following the trek, the pilgrimage of Christian. So without further ado, let me pull up the story. Let me pull, pull up the, um, the PDF for you. So here we are. This is the beginning of the story. There once was a man named Christian who lived in the city of destruction. Along came a man with a book in his hand to give the poor man some instruction. Your city is lost and will soon be destroyed. This book holds the truth that you cannot avoid. There lies in your path. Difficult and narrow, make haste, make haste, fly like an arrow. You can see him right here talking to Christian, preaching the gospel. Christian's wife scoffed, there's no need to fear. My husband, you're mad, there's no danger here. Resisting his children, they led him to bed. His wife remarked sharply, he's sick in the head. I find this picture to be quite interesting for many of us when we're trying to put our kids to bed. Maybe you're one of those children who make it so challenging to go to bed. We can see Christian's wife taking his Bible away from him as they call him crazy. Or as they say, he's sick in the head. A few pages in, Christian fell to his knees. With the weight of his sin, he was no longer at ease. Restless, he fled without a goodbye. The neighbors all gawked with a belittling eye. So I just want to unpack this first part of the story, this first scene for you. So in the beginning, we have uh, the individual Christian who, before he came to Christ, he was in the city of destruction. We might call this the kingdom of darkness. He had yet to know the Savior. He yet to believe in Jesus as his Savior. And then along came a man. What a beautiful beard he had. He comes Bible in hand and about to open up that Bible and explain it and share it and instruct Christian with that word. He points to the sinfulness and the fallenness of his city, the city of destruction. That's what evangelist does. And he's sharing the gospel with Christian. So Christian comes to believe in Christ. He comes to believe in his lot in life. And he goes then to share it with his wife. But his wife just doesn't get it. She doesn't understand. And she thinks that he's crazy. We can see that with his children. As Christian looks at his family and wants them to also come to Jesus, they believe he's actually sick in the head. They mock him. They scoff at him. We see that even with his neighbors. So he falls to his knees. He feels the weight of his sin. 
we'll see later in the story that the weight of the sin comes off of him as he realizes the forgiveness that he has in Jesus. We see as he walks away and he starts to walk that narrow path, what happens? People look at him. They scoff, they gawk, they belittle him. They think that he's crazy. Well, such is the life, my young friends, of the Christian. Uh, as you follow Jesus, there will be people who won't understand. They might make fun of you. But understand this, that Jesus is always with you. That he's given you his parents. He's given you other people, uh, your friends and your family, to help guide you along this narrow path in knowing how to follow Jesus. That's part one. That's part one of this magnificent story that I encourage you to go back at our previous video. If, if this isn't enough, go watch and, and re-watch that beautiful story of Christian and his pilgrimage in the Christian faith. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you soon.